prayer for health and longevity. Let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for yet another opportunity you have given us, your children, to come before your presence to hear your word and also have the opportunity to pray for long life and good health. In the name of Jesus. Father, give us the patience to stay until the end of this message and the prayers that will follow. In the name of Jesus. Father, we appreciate you. We honor you. And we say, may your name be glorified, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God's will for us is good health and long life here on earth before any transition. The Bible clearly and unambiguously states this in 3 John, chapter 1, verse 2. It says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. You see that. That God is delighted to see us prosper in good health and longevity. Other scriptures that have expressly expressed this in different ways and terms includes, but are not limited to, are Isaiah 65, verse 20. In Isaiah 65, verse 20, the Bible says, Reading from Amplified Bible No longer shall there be in an infant who lives only a few days, or an old man who does not finish his days, for the youth who dies at the age of a hundred, and the one who does not reach the age of a hundred, will be thought of as accursed. Here the Bible depicts premature death, as a punishment and lots of the unrepentant sinners. But for the obedient children of God, God prescribes long life and good health as their lot. He stated that no child or even the old would die until they had fulfilled their days. He went on to say that the fulfillment of days includes, among other things, living longer. To help us understand it more, it says that death at 100 shall be considered as a person dying as a child. And we know that God does not want his children to die in childhood or as children. Hence, God says in Exodus 23, verse 26, that no one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. So early death is not God's plan or will for his children. Let me tell you this, children of God, it is not God's intention or will for us to die young. In Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 22, talking about his will and expectations of his children, if all things were equal, he says, they shall not build, and another inhabit, they shall not plant, and another eat, for as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. And that is the enjoyable longevity plan of God for his children. And in Psalms 91, verse 16, he says, With long life will I satisfy him, and shew him my salvation. So God's plan for us is to live to a satisfactory age. In the context of this scripture, he was saying that he would make us live until we were satisfied with life here on earth, or with living in this world. And concerning good health and healthy living. In Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 15. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest, upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. God does not wish or desire for his children to live in sickness and affliction. He says that sickness and affliction are meant for the wicked, whose delight is hatred of the righteous and godly. He went on to promise the righteous and his children a life full of happiness and free of sickness. In Isaiah 33 verse 24, he says, And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick, the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. And in Exodus, Chapter 23, verse 25, it says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Now, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we appreciate the opportunity that you have given us to listen to your word. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the life and health that you have given us. Father, like your word says in Psalms 118, verse 23. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. Thank you Lord, indeed, your mercies, grace, protection, and provisions are marvelous in our sight. 
Dear Father Lord, who delights in the health and wellness of his people, dear Lord, heal us and all the members of our household. Elongate our lives as you have promised in your word. For you says dear Lord in Isaiah 65, verse 22. That they shall not build, and another inhabit, they shall not plant, and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Dear Father Lord, I ask for your execution and implementation of these promises to me and to the members of my household. In the name of Jesus Christ. You say Lord, that I will not plant and another will reap. Therefore, dear Lord, I ask for energy, strength, good health, and long life to enjoy all that you have given me. In the name of Jesus. Dear Lord, as the Lord Jesus Christ says in John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Dear Lord, please provide me with all the good things in life that I would require to enjoy life in all its fullness. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you says Lord in Psalms 34, verse 10. That the young lions do lack, and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Therefore, dear Lord, may I never lack or be lacking in any good things that I need to live the long life that you have given me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, among other things, embrace me with good and perfect health. Remove all diseases and illnesses from my life and home. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you promised me, dear Lord, in Isaiah 33, verse 24, and says, and the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick, the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Therefore, Lord, let your word rout and destroy every sickness and disease in my life and in the lives of my loved ones and members of my family and household. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, take sicknesses and diseases far away from my life. In accordance with Exodus 23 verse 25, where your word says, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Lord, do this to me and everyone under my voice, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let today be the day for me and my household. Let that anointing that destroys the yokes come on us now, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release the anointing of healing, longevity, and perfect health upon myself, my family, my household, and everyone under my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. May no sicknesses, diseases, or afflictions ever know my address or location again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare an end to every form of health challenge in my life and family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, route and sent packing out of the body of everyone under my voice, anything called diseases or afflictions. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command any challenges in the head, leg, stomach, hand, chest, waist, or wherever of anyone under my voice to get out now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father, Lord, for answering, for in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.